now we are going to construct exercise 10.2 question number 2 draw a line l and draw a perpendicular to l at any point on l on the perpendicular choose a point x 4 cm away from l and through x draw a line m which is parallel to l so here what we are going to do is we have presented the rough figure here we have a line l over here then this is the perpendicular drawn to the line l on this perpendicular we have marked the point x and now we have to draw a parallel line a line which is parallel to l and it passes through x which is that line line m okay and this is the uh, rough figure and the main construction so we are what concept that we are going to use over here is that when we construct this perpendicular we'll be constructing an angle of 90 degree over here and the same 90 degree will construct the copy of the same angle over here and we will get the parallel line but yes why are we taking this parallel line over, perpendicular line over here because we have to mark the point x which is uh, so that we are able to draw a line m which is at a distance so when we say the perpend the distance between two lines we mean we actually mean perpendicular distance between those lines so now when we have uh, constructed a line through x it actually means that the perpendicular distance between these two lines these two parallel lines is 4 cm so this is why we have located the point x like this now let's move to the main construction we'll follow the same steps as we have done in the question number 1 also let's start so we'll first of all construct the line l and half of the steps of this question when we are writing the steps of the construction they are from the question itself so we draw a line l and next we draw a perpendicular to l at any point on l so let's take this point as p okay as we had taken there also in the first question so if you take it take the first question as reference it will be very easy for you to construct so let's start now we'll use the concept of bisecting 180 degree here to construct the angle 90 degree to construct the perpendicular we will use the concept of bisecting 180 degree so we get 0 degree here and 180 degree here now when we bisect this we can open the compass for a bigger radius like this and let's start so we will make the one arc from here 0 degree point one arc from the 180 degree point and this will give us the 90 degree the scope to construct the perpendicular to line l okay so this becomes the perpendicular we'll extend it a little bit now on this perpendicular we can uh, label these points as q and r so we'll construct the copy of angle qpr later on now first of all what we have to do is we have to locate the point through which our parallel line has to pass which is the point x now point x is at a distance of 4 cm so we'll open the compass for a radius of 4 cm to locate the point x on this perpendicular place the pointer at p draw an arc like this this means this shows that the point x is at a distance of 4 cm so we can say that xp is equal to 4 cm the length of this line segment is 4 cm now the question is exactly similar to question number one where the line was given and a point was given which was not on the line but uh, what we have done is since we were already constructing the perpendicular so we have got this angle qpr and will now construct a copy of this angle so first of all we'll take the radius like this okay the same radius so that we place the pointer at x and we draw the arc okay so we place the pointer at x and we draw the arc I'm making it a little dark so that it's visible clearly with the same radius we have drawn this arc now this gives us 
the copy of point R which is R dash but we are still left with locating the copy of point Q which is Q dash. So for that what will we do if we remember the steps? We will now open the compass for a radius of Q R the distance between the points Q and R. Okay Q R and now we will place the pointer at R dash place the pointer at R dash and make an arc here. This gives us the copy of point Q which is Q dash. Now we can simply join the points X and Q dash to okay I am labeling Q dash R dash so that we actually are able to relate that these were the copy of these points and we were actually constructing the copy of the angle. So now we have made a line passing through Q dash and X and this gives us a line M which is parallel to L and it passes through X which is at a distance of 4 cm from the line L. Okay, So this was question number 2 of exercise 10.2.